this video, we'll be looking at preparing your Trusana denture bases for printing on the Asiga UV Max printer. Please refer to the Trusana workflow guide for reference. We'll be using Asiga Composer version 2.0, uh, but all the settings are pretty much the same in version 1, so everything should still apply. Select your printer, select the latest Trusana base profile, and set your layer thickness to 0.1 millimeters. Once inside the software, we'll click Add Parts. Then we'll browse to the denture base files, highlight however many you need to bring in, and click Open. In this case, our sockets are facing upwards, and we'll want to flip those upside down. So we'll select all, choose Rotate Parts, Choose the y-axis and set to 180 degrees and click the up arrow. Now the parts are in the correct orientation. Auto nest to center the parts on the build plate. And now we'll go and generate supports using the default settings. Once the supports are generated, we'll want to click the Remove button and manually remove supports from the tooth socket area. This is to ensure that we do not have any interference when we're trying to fit the teeth into the base after printing. Once that's complete, uh, we're ready to send the job to the printer. We'll click Print and set a name for the build. In this case, we'll call it Trusana Bases. And then go ahead and click the Next button. For the build properties, we want to make sure Shadow, All Parts, and Intersecting are selected. We'll increase the base plate thickness to 0.4 millimeters and set the mesh shape to None. Those are all the settings we need. We can go ahead and click print and send the job to the printer. Thank you very much for watching.